All right, so again, in this one, ladies and gentlemen, when you're going to evaluate for f of 2, all you're doing is plugging in 2, but remember, you have to plug in for the correct function. So that's <coughs> negative squared plus 4 times 2 minus 2. So therefore, 2 squared is going to be 4. 4 times um, a negative, so that's going to equal negative 4 plus 8 minus 2. So I'm getting a value of 2. However, to evaluate 2, you guys can see 2 is kind of my decision point here, right? So at that point, um, what I need to do is um, evaluate the limit um, for the positive and for the negative. So I'm going to do limit as x approaches 2 from the negative of f of x and limit as x approaches 2 from the positive of f of x. Well, we know as 2 approaches from the left, uh, or I'm sorry, from the right, because those are values that are to the right, all positive values. So we know from the right it's equal to 2. When I evaluate from the left, I'm just going to do 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 6. So that's going to be 4 minus 8 plus 6, negative 4, which equals 2. So therefore, this function is continuous. On over on all x. So it's a continuous function. There's no breaks. There's no holes. There's no asymptotes. Right? It's continuous. Fully continuous.